Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I have kind of a special box for you today. Um, this is not my original idea. I saw a German lady make it. I don't know what size box she made. I couldn't understand the language and I didn't even watch the whole video. I just got the idea and I came in here and <laughs> made one myself because I really love this idea. And so it is a slider box, so when you slide this over, you can open the box like this. And I'm not even sure this is the mechanism that she used on it. I'm not quite sure because, I, like I said, I didn't watch the whole video. I just saw um, pretty much how it was put to, it was constructed, this part of it. And then I just made my own size box, and I'm not even sure what hers was, but... Um, I just want to thank her for the idea and I don't I couldn't even begin to pronounce the name <laughs> so this is I, it fits Ghirardelli's and it'll probably fit two more in here there's actually three so it probably fit five but you could put a small gift in here a necklace or anything like that but I've also really wanted to use this designer series paper I love this paper of course I'm a paper addict anyway but I love this pattern and it's so spring and fun and it is the painted seasons designer series paper this is that one and it still is available um, I'll put all the supplies in my um, down below in my video the description but um, these it's really really pretty I love both sides and so this time we're going to use this pattern so I wanted to just show you a little bit different. I love this and I really want to use that pine cone and I'm trying to figure out a way to use it other than winter. <laughs> so we are going to go ahead and make this box. So I'm using Granny Apple Green this time. I wanted to use the Lemon Lime Twist but I just didn't have enough for this box. So um, this piece is 11 and a half by 6 and a half. And then you need a bunch of matting pieces. And so um, you're going to have a top mat piece, which is 2 and 3 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths. Then you have one for the inside of the box. It is 2 and 3 eighths by 1 and 7 eighths. And then you need two um, smaller for the sides. And this is two and three eighths by one and three eighths, and then you need two for the um, fronts and the back, and this is two and seven eighths by one and three eighths. So those are all of our mat pieces. You do need for this, it's just like those um, slider cards, so you do need two pennies, and I got two pretty ones this time. <laughs> and then for the punches, you are going to need a three quarter inch circle punch or something close to that because I only use that for the inside you're going to need our classic label punch and then this is the um, punch I'm using for the sentiment and I'm not ex this is a new one so I will put that in the description as well so the stamp sets that I'm using is the detailed with love and it says life is sweeter with friends like you I love that sentiment you can use happy birthday you can use this one right here so many of my smiles begin with you you can use whatever sentiments you like and then I'm also using the butterfly gala which I already had one because I have a ton of these butterflies flying around <laughs> so I already have one that I'm going to use on this box and you're just going to need the little one so if you've made a ton of these like I have you will have some butterflies left over all right so let's go ahead and score it so I'm going to use my simply scored for this one see if I can get it all in the picture here and we are going to score it on the 11 and a half inch side and we're going to score it at three four and a half, seven and a half, and nine. And then you're going to turn it and we're going to score it at the six and a half inch side at one half, at two, at four and a half, and at six. 
Okay, so that is it. Let me get this out of the way. And now we are ready to cut this. So you notice you have one longer side and one shorter side. So those are the sides that are going to fit into each other. So what we're going to do first, we're going to cut off all these. You can use this, um, these squares because they're big enough to use um, for another project. If you want to stamp a sentiment or punch uh, anything out with it, we're going to actually use one of these um, for the inside of the box. And then what you're going to do is we're going to cut down each one of these. And I wanted the little flaps to hold the top up, so that's why I'm, I'm cutting it this way. And then um, we are going to, let's see, this is the, the taller side. So we are going to, let's go ahead and go ahead and cut this side too. This way I don't make it confusing. So you're cutting down both sides, just like that. Now on this one, we're going to cut. These are going to be our glue tabs, so we're just creating them by cutting about a half inch. So that's one right there, and here's our other one. And then we are going to cut a little bit in here. Okay, so that is our one side. Now on this side, we're cutting this whole big square off as well. Go ahead and do the same on this side. And now we are going to cut this, these. Try to do them about the same size as your other side. It doesn't have to be perfect or accurate. We are just gluing those on the inside of the box. And then this one too. And then this top, these top ones are the ones that are going to fold in on your box. So we're going to trim those up a little bit too. So that is it. So it will look like that. And then now we are ready to sharpen our score marks and glue, uh, get this put together. Alright, it's ready to go. So now we are going to need our classic label punch and what I did was I punched out a scrap, a piece here, so I can center this in the middle of this, the top of this. Cause I, so center it the best that you can and then I'm going to use my pencil to outline it. I'm going to grab my pencil here. So then I'm going to use the pencil to outline it so I know exactly where to punch. I don't want to take any chances, I'm just freehanding it. So I'm just going to draw a little guide for myself. And then we are going to go ahead and use our classic label. And we are going to punch that. Just follow your lines. I drew them so light I can barely see them. <laughs> All right, I think that's about it. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and put this box together, and then we will cut our other um, our other piece. So let's go ahead and grab either some fast fuse or some tear and tape. I'm going to go ahead and use tear and tape on this. You want it? Um, you could probably use Tombow too. 
but you want it to stay together. I don't know if any of you have done boxes before and you have used Snell. And when I very, very first started, I didn't use Snell, but I used a um, cheaper double-sided tape. And I noticed my boxes would start coming apart. So that's why I always say use tear and tape or a really good strong double-sided adhesive. And your boxes, you'll see, won't. I have boxes that I've done a year or more ago and they're still together. And I forgot to do one thing, I forgot to mat it. So we're going to have to mat it and then repunch it. Um, I forgot to mat these first. So let's just get this together and then. So the top pieces you definitely need to mat first. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use Snail for this part. side and then I'm going to go ahead and mat this other side and it's going to cover the hole um, that we just made but then I'm going to just re repunch it and I'll be able to see exactly where I where I um, punched it so I'll just turn it this way and then we'll just repunch that Make sure you get it just right. All right. So now we have that all ready. Now you have to line these up perfectly. So once again, I'm drawing a guide here for myself. And then we are going to punch that side. And you are not punching. You're only punching part of it. You don't want it fully So it's going to look like that. So we can slide that in there. All right, so let's mat all these other pieces. And then we'll get that little mechanism that we're going to make. These are this paper is so pretty. So there, it all is ready to go. And this, these little things actually help a whole lot. I don't even know if the girl that made this did that with theirs, but I really like to do that because look how nice it holds that top up. All right, so we are going to create this little penny. Um, and you need some dimensionals for this. And I found that if you cut your dimensionals a little bit smaller, this works a little bit better. So what I'm going to do, I just cut a couple of the points off on these. So you can cut it here, and you need, and then cut it there. So you have a piece that looks like that. Okay, we are going to put that on our penny here. We're going to do the same with another, another dimensional. are going to put this one on top of your other one. So 
take that backing off so these will stay. Okay, now you need to put it inside your box. I'm going to take the backing off to make this easier. And believe it or not, it sticks super good to this penny. I was wondering if it was going to stay on, but it, it does. So you want to put this through here first. And then you want this penny to line up with that one. Let's do the tail side showing. But we're going to cover this up anyway. So just line them up on top of each other. And then you're going to have your little um, slider. All right, so I'm going to take my half inch or three quarter inch circle punch and we're going to punch a little circle there. I'm going to use some wet glue for this so it stays on. You don't have to do this on the top one because we're going to do the sentiment there. And then just place it if it's perfectly over that little so it looks really nice there. And then we are going to go ahead and we are going to stamp our sentiment. the call me clover because it says it has call me clover in it and I wanted to use a darker color for this because the I thought that the grand apple green might not show up too too good so we're going to use the call me clover and see how that looks and that's I really like that sentiment too and it fits really good anything that will fit inside it has to be a larger punch so it covers up your classic label. So we're going to punch this one out. And then I'm going to punch out another one. I'm actually going to punch out two of these in the granny apple green. And we are going to, you can do this one of two ways. You can cut it in half and you can do place one on this side and then place the other one on this side but then you have a little bit of a gap so I am going to use the whole one and we're going to put that one on so layer it where you want it to go line it up and then I can use this smaller piece I would use I did use both of them before I used both big pieces put together but I wanted to show you how you could do it if you wanted to save a little bit of cardstock there and make sure it's about even on both sides So there's that. And then I am going to use actually um, another dimensional because this holds so good um, to this penny. I'm using a full one here. And then we are going to put on our, our sentiment right here. And what you need to do is slide that over to the center so you can center this on there. And then this, it slides freely back and forth. All right, and then I'm going to just take that little butterfly and with a glue dot, we're going to just add the little butterfly. And if you don't have a butterfly, you can use whatever you have, but I love the little butterfly on here. Oops. Oh, I think it's, oh, it's stuck to my finger. <laughs> glue dot okay so there you have it the one thing that I think um, you might want to do is leave your dimensional um, hole because I thought that maybe this would work better so I would try it on this one 
but it seems awfully loose on here so I think I would leave on this one you can see it stays there and um, it's a little bit tighter in here and I used a full dimensional on these you know I didn't cut them so I advise using the larger in fact I'm gonna take it off these really these really really are tight I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna put two larger ones on there so instead of cutting them use the full ones on here I thought I was gonna make it a little bit easier but that didn't work out very well I like it to stay in the center then it doesn't make sure these are centered on here too and layer them the directly on top of each other and then you're going to put it in the the side where there's you have it flat like see like that it'll fit right in there and then let's put this back on here and oh yeah see how that fits a little bit tighter yeah I, I should have left it as it was when I did it the first time I thought I was gonna make it easier easier for y'all but <laughs> so there you have it they're both pretty which one do you like better I really love the granny apple green it's one of my favorite colors with the lemon lime twist and the pool party in it so it'll just open like that and then you close it back up all right everyone I hope you enjoyed it if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video I hope you all have a blessed day, and I will see you in the next one. I'll see you later, everyone. Bye.